do need to mash the bananas. I know it looks a little weird and disgusting, you guys, but trust me, it'll work. <laughs> now, if you have bananas that are not um, fully ripe, you can place them with the skin. Don't take it out of the skin. In a cookie sheet or on aluminum foil and put it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes and they will the skin will be nice and black which means they're nice and ripe so that's a quick tip on how to ripe your bananas I actually had to do that with mine mine were ripe but not too ripe for this recipe so I just wanted to make sure that they were nice and sweet now I have all my dry ingredients in here I have the flour the sugar baking soda um, cinnamon nutmeg um, what else? salt what else did I put in here I think that's about it I think it's like flour but I'll put all the ingredients on I can't think of the top of my head um, in the description box or I'll probably put it somewhere in this video so once you have that make sure that you whisk together all the dry ingredients just mix them in and I wanted to show you a recipe that's done by hand because I know that a lot of times some people don't have mixers or like even hand mixers but you do have a whisk or you may have a wooden spoon or whatever the case may be this works with either or it does not affect um, the texture if you mix it either way um, so there you have it and I don't know if you can see but this um, recipe does not call for eggs so we're not putting any eggs in this recipe at all so you'll use three bananas I know in the picture I only you um, you only saw two but it's three you'll use either milk if you want it has to be either full fat or um, vanilla um, milk which is basically what I used I use vanilla milk um, vanilla almond milk and I also added one teaspoon of vanilla um, extract on top of that a cup of sugar two cups of flour one teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of cinnamon I added a little bit more because I like cinnamon on it the recipe calls for just half a teaspoon but I added to be honest one teaspoon of cinnamon and I added salt I also added nutmeg on in my um, mixture so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the wet ingredients and you're gonna mix it in with your dry you're gonna incorporate it and mix it until it's nice and mixed together and it's all incorporated put this to the side right here and with my whisk I'm gonna slowly just rotate it back and forth if you do need a little bit more milk that's fine just add a teaspoon at a time but try to incorporate um bless you sorry if you hear that my boyfriend just needs um try to incorporate um this first before adding more because you should have a wet um batter you should not have a dry batter at all it's probably to be honest easier to mix it with a spatula than it is with this whisk that i use it since i was whisking the flour anyways but i like using the spatula better um a wooden spoon also works best when i'm doing stuff by hand before i had a mixer um by all means my mixer is not new whatsoever um my mixer is a hand-me-down from my mom. She used to make cakes years ago. And when I was a child, she used to make a lot of cakes and I pretty much got the little baking thing going on from her. But I like to try new recipes and stuff, so sometimes it's just best 
to use the old school method <laughs> and just use your hand. So make sure you fold it in because this is going to determine how much more milk you need to add in here, if any, needs to be added. So just keep folding. Oh, you can smell the bananas. I don't, I'm not gonna put nuts in here. Um, lately, I've been having a lot of different allergies to certain things. So I've been trying to stay away from certain food um, items. And one of them is either peanuts or like nuts i i don't know what it is i've just been having a really bad um reaction to it so i just want to make sure that i don't have a reaction to these so i am omitting the nuts but if you like your banana muffins with walnuts or whatever nuts you may like you feel free to use that you can even make this if you don't use um, regular flour. I know I use all purpose. You can use wheat flour. You can use oat flour. Um, if you have any oatmeal, just grind it down in a blender. And there you go, you have oat flour. <laughs> and let's see, I probably should have done this with the steel cut flour. It's only a little bit more than he's mixing. And but you see how the batter is a little bit um, on the wet side and it's a little sticky. That's okay, don't worry about it being sticky. The only thing is since we're not using um, oils, usually some of these batters, they require you to use oil. Um, you could, if you want, add coconut oil or any type of oil that you want, just an oil that's not gonna um, affect the flavor as far as like as long as it's like a flavorless oil it should be fine so before putting it in the pan I'm actually doing it to try out how muffins come out in these pans I have done um, ice cream sandwiches already um, in these pans and they're fine they took a little bit of work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use them for what they were meant to um, be, and that is banana muffin. <laughs> so these are muffin pans, so I'm gonna use these to do muffins. They are silicone, but I'm a little leery that it might still stick a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the pan. I'm gonna scoop in um, with my ice cream scooper the mixture into the pan, and we'll be right back. So you're just gonna fill up the muffin pins. I am basically just taking two scoops and rotating between ears <laughs> and whatever else is extra I just push it into the ear portion because I don't want that area to just be flat and not be even. If you see that any other areas need more or like you see how this one's more full. I'm a little worried about that one, but that's okay. This is trial and error. We need to find out if it's gonna rise enough. So I'm gonna leave it right there to see if it, if it keeps its shape. If it doesn't, then we know for next time not to fill it too much. This one doesn't look like it has too much. It's not as full as the other one. This was the first one I filled in. So let's just add a little bit and I'm just gonna spread, spread it within the pan. In the back of my scoop. I just have a regular ice cream scooper. You can do it with just um, spoons if you want. That's not a problem. And of course, this is just a six-piece um, muffin pan, but if you have just regular 
cupcake fan pans I um advise you to put um, the lining the muffin lining paper if because it doesn't have fat so I don't think it's gonna um, gonna work well if you put it straight into the muffin it might stick to the muffin pan so you just want to do that let me fill this on a little bit more because that ear looks a little bit thin. So, of course, not everyone's going to have these ears, which is fine. That's not an issue. Um, if you are trying to make this, you can hand make it. Like, just do a stencil on parchment paper, or if you're really good at it, you can just do it. I'm going to try to take out the air in these and I am going to put them in the oven at 350 for 10 to 15 minutes and see how far they are done um, in 10 to 15 minutes it might take a little bit longer it depends on your oven my oven fluctuates it depends um, so we're gonna try 10 15 minutes and at maybe like 12 minutes check them if it's not done then i'll give it another five and i'll just keep checking them every five minutes because my oven is very finicky you guys it's if you're not careful it goes from uncooked to completely burnt <laughs> so i'm gonna put these in the oven and i'll see you back in 10 to 15 minutes so you guys here's the ending result as you can see they're still piping hot and if you see some of them have um, the indentation of where I stuck the fork in to make sure they were done um, As you can see some of them are a little lopsided like this one right here Because the ear wasn't full enough. So I don't know if you can tell a little bit and I still have one here What works best is to pull on the silicone and push up Because I try to pull and you see how I broke it a little bit so I think for the next time when I do it um, pulling and pushing from the bottom oh it's still hot um, is probably the best way to do it let me take this to push a little bit for this ear that's like breaking or you can wait until it cools off I'm so impatient I just like things out of the pan and Sorry if you hear traffic coming, but I forgot and I left the front door open <laughs> so it could cool off. So you see how it broke right there. So yeah, it broke a little bit from me pulling, but that's okay. It will still get eaten, my darlings. It will still get eaten. So three of them, I just um, checked with a fork on three of them. So of course, you know, they don't look the best. They have an indentation. But the rest are fine and you just wait until they're completely cooled i was gonna put them on a wire rack um just so they can cool and once they're completely cool then i will um wrap them with parchment paper or put them inside a freezer bag and put them in the fridge and keep them there and in the morning i'll just have one take it with me have it with a little bit of coffee or tea or whatever your heart desires and that's about it you guys so here is the finishing product don't mind these they have the indentation on it but that's basically it if you're looking to get um this muffin pan i bought it at shop disney if you haven't seen the video i do have a disney haul where i purchased this shirt and um this muffin Pan also so you can look it up at shopdisney.com but I'll leave all the information in the description box below so yeah you guys thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great um, weekend rest of your week actually it's not the weekend <laughs> thank you bye you guys